back with another reaction from Mr. Kazanaha. Kazahana anime. Just watch the roasted video for a minute. Go check out his channel now. He covers, he only has two videos, but I think he's about to pump out a bunch of videos. This one is regarding the VTuber anime that we haven't seen yet. I've heard some good things about it. I've heard a lot of memes about it. I know that we're not watching it currently, but like maybe we should check it out. Let's see what he has to say. So summer 2024 anime is finally here and I've pretty much gone through the first episode of every single anime that I've chosen to watch. And this is a quick list of what I've been watching. Let's see. That's a base. That's base. Oh, yo, he got. They just my heart's not even airing right now. What the fuck is this doing here? <laughs> it's good. I mean, we're not there yet. We're gonna get there. Two point five D D slide. We checked that shit out. Yo, this is gonna have twenty four episodes plus. You see this shit? You got. You guys can't. That's two point five D D slide. One slash twenty four plus. The fuck does this anime need a two core for? My dress up darling didn't get that treatment. The fuck. Damn, I feel bad for dropping it just because of the fan service, and I'm trying to be careful of the TOS right now because, you know, YouTube is popping off. But Roasted ain't based. Dave's and my stepsister ain't based. <laughs> Failure frame based. Mysterious disappearances. This is an anime from last season with the girl with bazongas, right? Uh, Oshinoko based. Giji Haram. It's not a bad anime. I'm just not the, I'm just not the audience for it. I've got a lot of different shows. I think there's even more in here that I forgot to actually put on my list. But again, I've been watching a lot and it can range from some really cool like isekai okay. shows, which are a little bit weird. But again, I'm super interested in them. Do some more. What's weird about isekai? Everything. Failure Frame episode one was fantastic, though. Uh, the recent CGI is. Just... I hope the next couple episodes kind of make back. Failure Frame low key is failing frames <laughs> hard. The CGI is atrocious. First half of episode one, they got us, bro. They fucking catfished us. They fucking, they need, they, there needs to be a word for like catfish, but for CGI. Like, cause they, they really tried to like limit the amount of CGI in the first half of the first episode. And then as soon as you got into the labyrinth, it's like, oh, oh. And then episode two onwards is like, oh no. As soon as the character fucking turns around, it's just CGI. It's just so jarring, the difference in switching scenes and the immersion being broken. Lighter shows like My Dear Friend Nokotan, which yeah. is a very, very cool anime. You've probably seen the video that has uh, been surfacing on the internet. But there was yeah, one brother. anime that completely caught me off guard this summer, and I was not expecting it to be, like, really good. Now, before we get into this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And yep. also go over to Gamer Subs and use my code Kaza, where you can get 10% off. God damn, he plugged his Gamer Subs on us right now. Down below. Let's check and it yeah, out. Let's get back into the video. So, as you've seen, I did have a lot of anime on my list, and, you know, I was prepared to watch quite a bit of it. But there was one anime that kind of like went on yo he needs to watch wistoria he needs to watch wistoria he needs to watch isekai shikaku i mean shit you gonna watch failure frame over shikaku bro wistoria is so good power of god so good maybe by the season two not everyone can watch that but wistoria for sure anime that kind of like went underneath my radar and i saw it popping up a lot on twitter and the anime is called vtuber legend how i mm -hmm. went viral after forgetting to turn off my stream now what a fucking title, bro. How I went viral after forgetting to turn off my stream. It honestly sounds like a YouTube video. I bet a title like that would be fucking amazing. We checked out the trailer for it, right? It's like an uwu dere dere voice, you know, uh, VTuber that I think has an ulterior persona. And as soon as you, you know, turned off stream, well, as soon as, she, she, as soon as she thought that she was off stream, she's then her real personality came out. The trailer concept seemed pretty interesting, but I don't know. We just had too many weekly series to catch up on not catch up on just cover and i couldn't really justify a slot and not many people were really talking about it in my community but if you guys actually want to watch it like talk about it and try to get that shit into polls obviously this doesn't sound very appealing to me even though i am a vtuber i'm not very interested in the overall like vtuber anime kind of scene i don't really care for watching a vtuber in an anime but it turns out that this anime was actually amazing and you know i decided to give it a go and it definitely paid off and i think there is a new episode airing in a couple of days but you can actually watch it right now and it is on crunchyroll but what this the only the the reason why I've heard about this go viral and just other popular VTubers tweeting shit like this was a screenshot. There was like a screenshot where the girl VTuber or something was saying some lines like, "Yeah, you should rub one off to your favorite Oshi," and I'm like, "They're just Coomer baiting." And like, is this the extent of this anime? Like, that's it? Like, yeah, gooning or some shit? Like, is is that really just the extent of this anime, or is there more to it? Because like, I saw that and I'm like, okay. Seems kind of interesting, right? They're playing into the fan base with the Coomer shit. But can you deliver an actual good story on top of that? 
This anime follows is pretty much a new VTuber starting up, being a content creator and being part of a big agency like we see with the Vishojos, the Hololives, the uh, Niji Sanji. Oh, but, Niji mentions. Really, uh, very nice one. <laughs> Wait, go back, go back, go back. But, you know, they're not really a uh, very nice one at the moment. But it was super interesting <laughs> to see True. as a content creator myself of a lot of the stuff that they included in the anime and how actually like realistic it was to a lot of the stuff that, you know, I do. And I think that's what definitely captured me whenever I was watching this anime. It was the realisticness of like a lot of the stuff. I mean, they weren't afraid to use a lot of common slang that we see, especially in 2024, which I think a lot of animes don't really do. They tend to like stay away from it and it might be an issue with the, you know, trans woke localizer. Yes. Translation and stuff from Japanese. Maybe Japanese people just don't really have a word for it. But again, it was. Wait, 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 wait. The Japanese word. Sorry, let me get rid of my cam here. The ga Japanese word for salty is shiokarai. Written in Japanese as whatever. Here's more detailed explanation. Uh, it's an adjective. It means salty. Adjective could be used to describe something that's salty. It's a salty taste, okay? But the uh, kumer in English to Japan translation translates to. Is it the same fucking word? I'm not really sure. Cap? Yeah, it just doesn't really translate well. I really have a word for it. But again, it was super interesting to see it be very modern and just up to date with a lot of the stuff that's going on at the moment. She was on YouTube. She was doing a lot of streaming stuff. I mean, they even included a lot of the like genres and stuff like that, including like gaming and stuff like that. They had like some VTuber. What the fuck? Yo. What the fuck is this game? I got, got like a black sausage fighting a banana on forks but like gee i wonder what that's supposed to allude to stuff like that they had like some vtuber gaming and then they also had like some like weird asmr like bet which i thought was kind of cool because you know people don't really talk about this whenever it comes to anime like the studios just tend to shy away from a lot of like the normal topics and just continue to use a lot of the basic tropes that we see in a ton of shows now, obviously yeah. on analyst asmr content it actually shocked me like Back when I was like researching male VTubers and seeing who were the dominant ones in, you know, the space. Well, everyone was from Niji Sanji because of Luxium, right? They, were, they had the male you know, VTuber market. And then I checked the most popular guy, Vox Akuma. I did. And I'm like, which is the most popular streams? And I noticed that they were all ASMR content. Not just for him, but many other female VTubers too. And I clicked on it and it's just like role-playing and simulating like the girlfriend boyfriend experience and i'm like oh my god and like bro it just got so immersive and they had like different scenes they it had a whole script of like this vox was like in a bar and he's like walking up to this girl and being like mm, so uh, i see you're alone so you, yeah you didn't have a good day you want to come out with me and you gotta go on a date and they go over home and i'm like oh my goodness i shouldn't be fucking hearing this shit <laughs> The words of affirmation given to the ASMR. You, the, the chat popping off with the super donos. Everybody just going like, Master, Master, oh my god, police. I'm like, ASMR content is dangerous. ASMR content, for sure, it may sound cringe to you, and it is kind of cringe. But like, the power of it, the amount of people that want that experience, the ability to make money off of that, it is absurd i bet like no normie could possibly comprehend first of all even streaming is niche right even streaming is so niche where it's like what you fucking broadcast yourself playing video games to other people who the fuck watches that shit and then those motherfuckers are the same people watching fucking cable tv or some other shit and then you have to explain to them the concept of vtubing it's like what you do streaming but you have an anime character overlaying instead of yourself okay and then you have to understand okay on top of that now the vtuber experience is selling like the perfect ideal boyfriend girlfriend experiences by whispering into a fucking mic like if you told your parents that do you think you would understand like, do you think, like, they would fucking understand this concept of VTuber ASMR? It'd probably blow their minds, but yet in the year of 2024, and even back then, it's not new, right? But in this age, like, that shit pops off. Tend to shy away from a lot of, like, the normal topics, and just continue to use a lot of the basic tropes that we see in a ton of shows. Now, obviously, on Analyst, this has been very well received. It's got, like, yeah. a couple hundreds, couple nineties, couple eighties. So it's around in the top. I want to see the actual numbers right now. So what is this anime called? It's the VTuber anime, right? VTuber anime. I want to check out uh, VTuber Legend. 
I want to check out the actual like YouTube reaction numbers. Is anyone reacting to this shit? Is there anybody? Well, there's a VTuber reacting to it, but it's 1,000. Otaku Spirit's covering it for 2.8. Hmm. There really isn't, huh? There's not a lot, there's, there's little to no, you know, anime reaction channels covering this. And even if they are, it's very limited in numbers. I'm looking for like something beyond, you know, like 10,000, but... Hmm. Again, like anime reaction numbers on YouTube is not proportional to what's actually counted as these, you know, highest rated of these numbers or DVD sales later on and stuff. But I don't know. It's, it's just there is just isn't the audience for it right for now, I guess. Pop kind of marks. And again, I thought it was actually really, really good. And it definitely surprised me for a first episode. Now, I don't know how they're going to carry on the series and how they can keep going because the first episode was so good. As you know, the title suggests she forgets to turn off her stream and then literally goes viral. Because and that's the thing, right? It's like you give this premise in the beginning and you have a very strong start. Every anime can have a strong start. But what really determines is if it survives, survive as in like, does the audience continue watching until episode 12 or wherever it ends? It's like, that's the hard part. And I don't know how many of you guys are watching this right now. Is it still like delivering? Because, you know, it's hard to like, it's easy to hook and bait people to watch episode one, but it's hard to really keep them going because like, do you actually have good content beyond the initial premise? Because she gets exposed for not being a very like nice and cute VTuber or whatever. It turns out she's a massive alcoholic. Loves to play like tons of games and watch other VTubers and stuff like that, which I all found right. quite interesting as well. But obviously that all happened in one episode. So again, I'm kind of interested to see how they take this. It seems like there's a lot of other characters kind of getting involved. I mean, with her being part of like this VTuber agency thing, you're often like involved with a lot of other VTubers and a lot of other like talents. So again, we're probably going to be seeing a lot more interaction from them and it will be just interesting to see where they take this but overall i just wanted to make this video just to point out how good of an anime and how okay. much i enjoyed it it was actually like super surprising whenever i watched it because i really expected whenever i open up crunchyroll to not be enjoying it to probably be like oh okay that was all right because you know there is a lot of anime that out there that are just all right but this one oh no Perry anime thrown under the bus i can understand why you wouldn't like Perry anime yeah it's not really for everybody what, what's the other animes? That was just good. I don't know what the fuck this one is. I don't really know what this is either. Fairy Tale? Uh, we haven't even watched OG Fairy Tale, but damn. Perry anime? F. Got thrown under the bus. I made that out there that are just all right. But this one actually genuinely made me laugh. And I think a lot of people just aren't really seeing this. And, and I haven't really seen it yeah. around much apart from the posts that originally got me into watching it. But obviously, this is based off of a light novel, which again, light novels tend to be a little bit boring. But it seems like this light novel has actually cooked. And okay. the localization and just the overall translation from Japanese has been amazing. And they do try to include a lot of the modern stuff that we see today. And it's just super like refreshing to see. Because because you know how it is. There's a lot of people who watch their like massive shows. Such <laughs> Not the I got a fucking hoodie. It is. Is this you guys? Who has a cup like? Who has a hoodie like that? <laughs> Wait, what happened to the kid? Right, his he got fat. What happened? The Doomer kid. He the fucking Doomer twink kid. What happened? <laughs> this is what happens when you get old. <laughs> Oh no! Who watch their like massive shows such as like One Piece, Bleach, whatever. The big kind yeah. of shows that are airing and they tend to be pretty basic like Japanese, pretty basic English and it's just more straight to the point. But this anime decided to just go off in a different direction and use a ton of different- A VTuber lingo. In fact, when attracted to a woman, R star BBING. I wonder what that means, right? There's obviously, there, that's definitely a lot of mockery. What does this say? Out with the luminous, in with the lit. They're just using just like, you know, jargon, right? I'm getting out there. What does the chat say? Hold up, hold up. So much for the game title, Lolo. The name skin both up. They're making fun of like the sausage and the banana fights, right? It's phallic account. Yeah, it does look very phallic. He cut a chat. I'm your mommy. I mean, she is hotty in 100 girlfriends. Slang. <laughs> wait, that's, wait, so wait, wait, does, is that when she's drinking while watching other VTuber streams? Like Hikari chan and she's like, no, I'm your mama. Slang. Also in the translations, whenever she was like drunk and eating or something like that, they decided to like mix up the kind of words to make it sound like that, which I thought was also kind of cool. And we don't really see that in a lot of anime as well. And also not to mention that character design and the overall just like nerve art is actually really, really nice. Yeah. Like the quality of it was just insane. And I'm not exactly sure which studio is working on this. I think Katakawa are helping out with this. So Katakawa always usually uh, kill it whenever it comes to publishing a lot of anime. But again, 
Kataka does indeed kill it when publishing a lot of anime. Oh yeah, it's a fucking... <laughs> we pumping out garbage over and over and over. Not that every Kataka anime is garbage. No, absolutely not. It's just... They just have so much fucking anime, right? Publishing a lot of anime. But again, it looks super clean. And I think there is going to be some kind of like metaphor for like a lot of these characters. As you can see, she is dressed up like her actual VTuber. So this is her model. Like, I was wondering, because I only saw this girl. I'm like, is this the VTuber in-game model? Is it the real person? The, it, the real person is the in-game model? I mean, I guess it's easier for, uh, I don't know. Just like transitioning in and out. Supermodel, which obviously we all know we don't look like this in real. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the fantasy, right? You give a VTuber an anime, it's a cute girl, and she's just as hot as the fucking model, right? It's the... <laughs> yeah, every person that they think they're fucking Erin Yeager, right? It's... Yeah, IRL to, you know, anime one-to-one, -one, it just doesn't translate very well. It never does life kind of thing so maybe this is some kind of metaphor for like her thinking she is a vtuber and the same with the other characters because all of the other characters too are dressed up like their vtuber model which i found hmm. quite interesting every vtuber is just as hot as their vtuber model then huh well shit what's the fucking point of vtubing at that point VTubing was supposed to, if you're anonymous, you're supposed to, you don't have to wear makeup, it's easy for, easy, easy for girls, they don't have to put on shitload of fucking makeup and get ready and get judged for appearance, they use an anonymous fucking avatar and fucking, you know, that, isn't that a whole part of VTubing? To have a different persona, a, a character that you want to play through this, you know, this model that's not really you, and, and that's the appeal of VTubing, a fantasy you, tell, you sell, and if people saw who you really were, then it kind of breaks that immersion, but every fucking VTuber in this show is just the same? Alright. Interesting, and maybe they'll expand on that later in the series. But again, I do really like the character design overall, and it is very, like, typical of a VTuber. And again, they just have lots of, like, random funny moments, which I kind of enjoy, and it's just fun to have a little break from a lot of the intense shows that we have going on this Demon season, Slayer. and also maybe some ongoing ones that you're watching. I mean, recently I've been reading a lot of Berserk, so obviously that is quite hard hitting. And just watching something like this after reading Berserk is such a contrast, and it does, like, brighten up your day a little bit. Yeah, it's like a soul healing anime then, huh? But, but again, it is super fun. And they definitely do capture a lot of these kind of internet styles quite well. They kind of copied the entire style of YouTube, which I found quite interesting as well. And they tried to make it... No Twitch though. VTubing culture is just dominated on YouTube streams. Just look as realistic as possible. And I think they did a really good job of it because there was a lot of stuff in the anime that I thought, hey, I kind of do that stuff too. Like they had a phone holder on the desk, which is for like VTuber tracking. Now I don't do that myself. I just use a webcam, but I know that a lot of VTubers out yeah. there do use phones for facial tracking. So it seems like the company has done a lot of research into how VTubers work and how like content create. I don't know if there's any like actual VTubers or maybe even content creators working on this to give them a little bit of a hand whenever it comes to fact checking and just making sure a lot of this stuff is right because it doesn't actually have to be right i mean this show could have just went i think that like the realistic aspect of content creation remember viral hit just like how this dude thinks that you know this anime is very relatable because of uh, the realistic aspects of just vtuber rigging setup and stuff like that viral hit was kind of like that for me too just the whole aspect of just youtube in a nutshell and going viral and monetization and hitting some watch time and stuff like that that, that was fun it, it really made it feel like damn they did their homework and a guy could relate to this as someone that creates content on youtube when oh okay yeah we'll just add in some like random internet browser thing and it doesn't really make any sense no one really cares but they've actually taken the time to think about it and implement it into the anime which i find is amazing and it definitely helps it out a lot more as well because it just makes it seem a lot more interesting especially as i said for content creators like me it also makes it just much more interesting for me as i can actually see a lot of the stuff that they got right and a lot of the stuff that they got wrong because don't get me wrong as much as they got right they did also get a couple things wrong but i just think overall it is quite interesting to see is it like one of the best animes in the world that's gonna like take on some of the big ones that are out there of course no. not. it's a vtuber anime that's supposed to be like slice of life it's too niche right it doesn't mean the anime is bad it just doesn't get that pull right now though from the wider audience if you know you're just supposed to laugh at it but it is a definite good anime to just like turn your brain off and not really think about much but yeah i definitely recommend going to watch this it is on crunchyroll or uh, any other sites that you may use you know fuck crunchyroll the one piece is real you know what to do definitely legal so let me know down in the comments whether you've watched this or whether you're gonna watch this now and also share what anime you're watching this season yeah that's about what my guy please 
check out Wistoria. Thank you for the farm. Smiley face. Guys, y'all know what to do. Please go give. He's not a new channel. This, this is. I mean, he's not a new content creator. This, this guy's done content. I, I, well, how big is he? Kazahana. If I Google his name, Kazahana. Oh yeah. Wait, is this the same person? Is it? No, I think this is a different Kazahana. Okay, so it seems like Genshin. No, 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 no. It is. It is. It's a gotcha camp. Okay. Okay, it's a gotcha. I see, I see, I see, I see. Well, we're gonna have to fucking sub to this. Okay, that's, that's a good news. Guys, this is his main channel. Okay, there's gotcha news that we could potentially farm, but this is his anime channel. I'm sure he's trying to break into the anime space, but like these videos are actually so well done. Like may maybe it's not the best videos, right? But for sure the production value, the editing, this quick concise summaries of the animes, like, dude, go check him out. Like this channel, I think needs a lot more attention. Like it, for sure it stands out. Like amongst the other anime review channels that I've seen so far, like I think it can hand hold a candle against it. Go check it out. Anyways, that's it for me.